a, a pen real quick. I just want to take some notes. Sure. Thing I will say is I can hear you talking uh, as a lag. So uh, if you have YouTube open on your desktop and yeah. you're using Mumble, oh, just just mute it. So yeah, yeah. mute your YouTube streaming. Okay. I don't get to hear all the neat music, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's less yeah. of a distraction. Yeah, it'll be easier to actually follow what I'm saying. actually unmute and then I'm going to test the lag time uh, uh, of your... So, say something. Okay, yeah. I'm talking now to test the lag time. I'm guessing it's about five, six, seven seconds. Something. Yeah, it's about seven or eight seconds. Something. Okay. As an archive, you'll be able to watch it and jump around. Yeah. Alright, so I have the two sides set up. Um, and I will just go ahead and launch the game. So, like at this point, there's a couple things I'm going to do real quickly right out of the shoot. Um, now, if you play a different style of game, like if you wanted to play without a rush timer, and you would do this totally differently, you would want to like start harassing your opponent early on. But we're doing a 30 minute timer, so we're going to build up heavy, big defenses, that kind of thing. So, first thing I want to do is get my commander, give him a group, want to build two mass extractors. Here, I'm gonna hold 
down shift and click on engineer, which is going to queue up five. You see how it just jumped right to five. It's going to build five engineers. Now if I just click on it once, it'll just build one, but I want to build five. So holding down shift and clicking on a unit in the build screen will actually cause it to build five. So this first one that comes out, I'm going to make it group two. And then I'm going to have it go build hydrocarbon right here on the hydrocarbon construction site. I don't know if you noticed when I built the two mass extractors, I went ahead and just queued both up right away. The second engineer rolls off the assembly line. I'm going to click on the first engineer. So we'll go over and just help him now. Wherever number two goes and whatever he does, this guy will go and help him. The hydrocarbon plant could use a little extra help, so now my engineer's done with his two uh, mass extractors, so I'm going to tell him to help out on this hydrocarbon thing. How many mass extractor spots do you typically have? In the startup <coughs> on this map, you start yeah. out with uh, two, four, six. I've, okay. built, I've done some custom maps that I've built that I do more at the beginning okay. of the last, just depending on what I'm trying to do. So now at this point, um, I have my hydrocarbon up. I'd like to get one energy storage built just right out of the chute. I don't want to build too many because they're kind of mass intensive. And I want to spend so most of my... energy storage is part of the hydro? Yeah. Okay. And but so you're not building, you're not, you're building, you're putting energy storage sort of before mass storage. Um, just one, yes. Because that'll boost each energy storage uh, boosts my uh, total storage capacity by 5,000. When you start the game, you only have a 4,000 capacity, so having a little extra room there is kind of nice. Okay, um, so you got a little ed energy storage. Now you're building your mass extractor. Who are you setting? Oh, okay, I got it. Um, and so for a little while here, I'm going to have my commander help out with some of these builds. I'm just okay. doing these manually by clicking him and then right clicking on whichever build item I want to build. Now since I've queued up several, by holding down shift, I can see all yep. the commands on the screen currently. Without clicking anywhere, I just hold down the shift key uh -huh. and I can see the entire screen, um, my viewable area, and I can see all of the current build orders. So I Where do you see that? By holding down shift, I'll just see it on the screen. It creates yeah. like these ghost lines, and then it, it prints out like an ETA on the screen. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. Yeah. Oh, let me see that again. Oh, okay, got it, got it. I see that. Yeah. So, um, I think at this point my storage is good enough. Before I go forward and build some more um, mass extractors, I'm going to build one more energy storage. So I put that down. Now I'm going to actually just lay out every single mass storage from here on out. You'll see me all the while I'm holding down shift. I'm just putting mass storage down. Now if I let off, and I uh, go you, back. Do you, you need the uh, energy storage at this stage? Um, I'm building one more. It's queued up since you're about eight seconds behind. You'll see it in just a moment. Now, okay. one thing is sometimes you misclick. Yeah. You put something in the wrong spot. Well, while it's still just like a ghost item, it's just a plan to be built. It hasn't been actually built. You can come in and hold down shift. And the, if yeah. you hover over one of those items, you can actually mm -hmm. move it around and correct your misclick. That used to be a really maddening thing about like, total annihilation. Do that. So now I'm going to actually build one more engineer. Because I want this engineer to be hanging with uh, the, the big boss. Because I want to start upgrading my big boss. These engineers, these five engineers, they're off doing their thing. It's going to take them a while to get all these mass yeah. storage built. Um, so now, if I get, if I hover over a, uh, a mass extractor, 
I'll see in the lower left hand corner, it shows, uh, it shows the plus two energy that, or mass that it's producing, and minus two energy it's using up to take a, to build those two mass, or to, to, to mine those two mass. Now, if I hover over um, a mass extractor that has four mass storage around it, we'll notice now that the bonus is kicked in and it's actually plus three mass that it's producing for the same energy that it was using up. So that's why we build the extractors the way we do in, in that sort of configuration. I could put one in a corner, like right here, but it wouldn't actually boost the production. Yeah. It would just give me more mass storage, and there's value in that too. Um, so now I'm going to go in to my commander, a little bit behind here, and when I click this button here, Enhancements, you'll see it here in just a moment. When I click Enhancements, um, I can actually do upgrades to the commander himself. And um, he has a like a back that can be upgraded, like a, sort of a backpack of equipment. He has a right arm that can be upgraded, and he has a left arm. Well, I'm going to go to the left arm, and there's two options here that have three upgrades all together. Um, there's standard engineering and combat engineering. I and this is left arm on his left arm, okay. and I tend to prefer combat engineering. So I'm going to click that, and this guy I built is going to go over there and help out. And, and you, that's just your early defense. I do this early on because I want my commander to have access to level 2 units without upgrading the land factory. I want him to build some level, level 2 units, which you'll get to in just a little bit. You'll see what they are. Um, this gives him the ability to build those. Now, the reason why I built a second energy storage is if you look in the top left corner to upgrade my commander is using up is putting my energy production to minus 250. Yeah. And I needed some storage to buffer it out while my engineers are over here building mass because I don't want to slow anything down. And if I go down to zero it actually becomes a lot less efficient the construction of whatever projects you're working on. It's like when this this um, economic energy rate is yellow, it means you're in the negative. When it's red, it means you're running less efficiently. And that's not good. It looks like I'm actually probably going to go into negative. So I maybe should have even built one more. One more energy storage? Yeah, I maybe should have. But, you know, we'll see what I mean. So now, when you see, you'll see that the negative and for energy Remind me why, is why you don't why you don't build like six energy storage? Because I don't want to use the mass up on those right now. Okay. I would rather. I'm trying to like balance it where I get it. Like. So what's what's what's, what's your target for mass in and out? I mean, within. Well, I want to keep I'd, it positive, you know, preferably, because I want to be able to share. Like you know, like last night you heard the boys and I talking about, like, hey, I need some mass or whatever. I want to be able so to have access. anything over one is considered to be positive, right? Yeah, or even zero. If you're at zero, that's fine. But I'd okay. like to be... And what, is you, and what is your target for energy as you're going through this? Well, also I want to get my production as high as possible. So I don't have like a, like a specific target per se. Now, um, my upgrade's done on my commander. My upgrades are done on... Um, or my uh, mass storage are now all built. So, and we still have 20, we're only 20, okay, about seven and a half minutes into the game. So we're doing pretty uh -huh. good. So now okay. what I want to do is with my commander, who's now upgraded, I can now build Tech 2 units. And the one I like to build right out of the chute is this thing right here. It's called a hive. Mm -hmm. And I like the hive System for enabled. a game like this. Yeah, was that a, was that a preload up there, the hive? Um, it's it's now available as a tech two unit that I can build. Okay. 
and then while it's building, I can click on it. It's not even done being built, and I just go ahead and click both of the upgrades. And by doing that, it'll just immediately, once it's built, it'll just jump right in and start doing the upgrades. So and this is called a hive? This is called the what? hive, yeah. And if you're looking and at you, the and tech you build it next to a mass extractor? Or, oh, or it, you could build it anywhere. I just, on this map, I know that like if I place it here, it'll have its widest possible coverage. You see, if I hover over it, it creates that circle that appears only when I hover over it. Now I, I selected number one, my commander, and I told him to help with the upgrade as well. And so, tell me what the hive does again? What it does is it, it is an engineering station that helps construction of other things. And you'll see once it's built what it does. But what it's going to do is help me do my Tech 2 upgrades faster for, for mass. I'm going to start upgrading all of my mass extractors. And this thing's going to help out. And instead of having to stand pretty close to something to actually help assist with it, it has a radius. And as the upgrades are going on, that radius is getting wider and the construction capabilities are getting better. All right, so it's fully upgraded. So I'm gonna start clicking on. So is it is it sort of like a stationary engineering sort yeah. of plan? Yeah, now you'll see, I just clicked to upgrade one of my mass extractors and you'll see like all these little nanobots fly out of the engineering station and go over and just start helping. And they will go anywhere within this big radius. I'm hovering right now over the hive has this big radius it will go and assist anywhere within this radius it will okay. assist if there's an injured unit it'll go okay. and like and help repair it it'll it. assist on construction projects like yeah, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll queue up a bunch of construction projects now your small engineers are kind of just are they still sitting idle right now they're sitting idle there's right like I can I, I have a, a mass crunch right now yeah, and so there's nothing I can really do with them right now because I don't like to be in the red negatives, which is what I'm in right now. And so actually, I'm gonna wait till I click the next upgrade here until I have about 400, maybe 450 mass actually built up in the storage because I don't want to go negative. The penalty is I don't remember what it is, but um, so your negative mass right now. Or at least you were 10 seconds ago. Now you're positive. Yeah, now I'm positive because that construction job ended. Okay, got it. Now, um, so I'm upgrading my third mass extractor. So, uh, have you, when did you start upgrading mass extractors? As soon as I got this hive done and fully upgraded. Okay. Now, if I hover over, just as a point of reference, if I hover over a um, a mass extractor that's been upgraded. On the lower left hand corner, if you look now, this mass extractor is plus nine, and it's using energy of nine to make nine mass. So it's a number that's going to become problematic because when we start upgrading more to the level three, it's going to the level three mass extractors will use even more energy, which could potentially make us run negative. So before we actually move to the level three upgrades, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to actually upgrade our power capacity, but that's okay because our commander can now build um, a tech two power generator. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a moment. So I'm, I have almost all my Tech 2 mass extractors upgraded, or all my Tech 2 mass extractor upgrades done. I have one more to do, and I'm going to kick that off now. And you'll notice every time I kick one off, you'll see that that hive go send his little hive workers over there to help out. That yeah. speeds it up greatly. Do you, do you, okay, does he know? Just does he just know to go do that? Yeah, because anything inside his circle, his radius. Show me his radius again. Okay, I'm I'm hovering over it now. It's this. Um, yellow circle. One sec. And Got it. Yeah. So anything within that radius, he just goes and helps automatically. So when you plant your, your hive, you're planting it right in the center of where your construction activity would be. Uh, yeah, more or less. I try to get it somewhat centered. Yeah. So I'm going to build one more energy storage. And then I'm going to kick off. 
So like you'll notice down at the bottom in the build menu, you can, even though I can build tech two now, I can always still go back and build tech ones. I just have now, to does, click does the little the hive, circle. Do you have to tell the hive to, to help out with things nope. as you construct them? No, nope. okay, that's, that's the good. great thing about it is it just does it automatically. Got it. So now- Why wouldn't you build two hives? Uh, cause right, I will later, but right now it, they would suck way too much energy out of my economy. Uh, there okay. is also a certain inefficiency in piling on a bunch of workers on a project. You get it done faster, but it is a little less efficient. So I don't want to... You've got no chance against there. me! Is that a new uh, energy plant? Yeah, so this is my Tech 2 plant. And this thing, as you see me hovering over, it produces... And look in the lower left-hand corner. System it enabled. produces 520 energy. Now we're ready to start doing our mass extractor level 3 upgrades. So hang on one sec. You're, so you're building a tech two. Hang on, tech. Tech two energy mm -hmm. power generator. Yeah. And it, so it's not an upgrade to the hydro. It's a new, new facility. Is that right? That's right. Um, whereas you can upgrade mass extractors, you cannot upgrade power facilities. Okay. I, I don't know why that is, but it, it just that's sort of the way it works. So, um, so that's a, that's so you built a Tech Two energy facility. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you'll notice I put a um, a single right in the middle. I put a single energy storage there because ultimately what I want to do is have a row of energy storages between the two, between the hydrocarbon and yeah. the standard power generator. Now, how come your hive's not helping you with the Tech 2 energy? Well, it, it's already built. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, it's already constructed and producing energy. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, my positive energy flow is now 634. One second. Of a total production of 733. So, I'm going to kick off my next construction, or my next upgrade. Upgrading another mass extractor to Tech 3. And hope, hopefully, the, the goal is to have all of what I've done so far done at about the 15 minute point. We're not going to quite get it, but we'll be pretty close. So, you're upgrading your mass extractor to Tech 3? Mm -hmm. One at a time. One of the things I do is I wait between kicking off each upgrade, I wait because. Again, I don't want my mass to run negative, and um, like where my storage runs out completely, because then my negative flow turns red and I'm paying a penalty. I don't want to pay that penalty. It's cheap that way. And so before I kick off an upgrade, I'll let my energy store or my mass storage build up to you know 17, 1800, something like that. Say that one last part, you're going to let your energy build up to 8? Yeah, before I kick off an upgrade, I let my, my mass storage build up to around 17 or 1800 mass. That way okay. I don't run out. Got it. Because I am trying to do this as efficiently as possible. But as each one of these um, Tech 3 mass extractors comes online, you know, they're adding they're, they're growing my actual revenue. Now when I hover over one in the lower left hand corner, if you look, I'm making plus 27 mass, but it's costing me minus 54 for each one of those mass extractors. Show me that in the lo lower left hand corner again. In the okay, lower left got it. Yeah, see, got I'm, it. I'm hovering over it. Yeah. So, and so what does that express as? Six out of six? Six thousand over six thousand? What is that? Um, that's, that's it. That's the actual mass extractor itself. Has uh -huh. six thousand hit points out okay. of a possible six thousand. So if it had been attacked, it might say five thousand slash six thousand, and I would know I need to like repair it, or the hive would see that and automatically start repairing it. Okay. So now I kicked off another upgrade. I probably don't have to wait quite as long. No, 
now. You're still upgrading mass extractors, right? That's like three correct. all over? Okay. Now, the fourth one I just started upgrading puts my economy at negative two. So Your economy... My, my mass, I'm sorry. Okay. My mass, yeah. So I'm producing 111. I'm producing 109, I'm using 111. And again, I'm reading these numbers from the upper left-hand corner, these small numbers over here. Um, everything within the game, if you hover over it, it'll give you all the tools. Got it. But, um, so now, actually, I think I can kick off two of them at the same time, and when the first one gets done, the hive will just jump over to the second one. And the moment it jumps over, I'll just go ahead and kick off the third one, because I'm running a little bit behind. Okay. So you see the hive jump over there. I'm going to kick off the third one. Show me the hive again. Where's yeah, the hive? The hive's right here in the middle. I'm hovering over it with its radius. Hang on a sec. So you'll see that big circle that goes around my whole base, the yellow circle. I'm going to go ahead and kick off the final upgrade. Run out of energy. Dang it, I wasn't paying attention. Now my energy is negative. That's going to slow everything down. I can't pause this. How do you do that? So I click on uh, something that's upgrading, and then I go down to the little pause button, and I click it, and that'll stop until... I see it. You'll notice I see it. the moment I clicked it, I went from minus 432 to minus 267. So it's just piling everything into... So you really want to try to, if you see that, if you see your energy drift, it, drift into red, you really need to stop production. You, right you need to think about it, yeah. Yeah. It means I didn't, I should have added a few energy storage places before I kicked off all these upgrades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now it's really slow. Could, could you do that now? Could you uh, upgrade energy storage or were you not going to need it? Uh, it would it would just put me further into the negative, so I'll I'll have to. I mean, a little of this I'm doing a little more slowly because I'm explaining and pointing yeah, yeah. out. But you know, yeah. you get to just usually by about 15 minutes I have all this done. Um, so now at this point I'm thinking about getting another upgrade for my commander. So you've got all your mass upgraded to tech 3 right now. They're all basically. upgraded. Once this last update is done, and it's like at 95%, 96%. Can you pause the whole game? Yeah, if I just hit the pause key, you'll see... Pause it real quick. You'll see this thing come up on the screen that says game paused. Also, it's this button right here. Uh, I'm hovering over that button. Um, so you'll see the, the game's paused. If I want to unpause it, I just hit the pause slash play button resumes the game. Um, I'm going to build a few more energy storage now. Okay. And, and you're going to build that around between uh, your two energy plants? Yeah. I think System I'm going to build See, now, now you'll you see my mass is like good. I'm, I'm cranking the mass. Alright, so um, now I'm going to do another upgrade on the commander, and I want to do another left arm upgrade, and I want to go to, to combat engineering level 3. So. I didn't let, I should have let my uh, energy storage fill up first. So I'm not doing this especially efficiently. And was it the build of all the energy storage that? Kick you in the negative. Yeah, 
No, I didn't let my... I built all that storage and I didn't let it fill up. It wouldn't take much time to fill up and I hopped on this. Hopped on this upgrade. But it'll get done. It'll just... Oh, uh, you're, you're upgrading your commander now? Yeah. I want to be able to build level 3 units with this commander. So you upgraded mass extractors to Tech 3, and then you added energy storage. Mm -hmm. And now you're upgrading the commander to Tech 3? Mm -hmm. To, yeah, combat engineering to Tech 3, which is the middle option. There's a third option, which lets you build experimentals, but um, we'll get to that later. So this Tech 3 upgrade, is this still your left left arm upgrade, or? Yep. okay? And then it's it's a combat engineer upgrade, is that right? Yeah. So if done properly, I would not run out of energy, or I would run out of energy building just towards the end of this upgrade. Now why would you just upgrade the left arm? Why would you Well because upgrade that's where combat engineering is. The right arm okay. is like a laser gun, uh -huh. and, it, and it, this is the one I'll choose for that, the microwave laser. Um, and the back has um, a speed upgrade. And at some point go through the game and read through what each of these upgrades does. Like yeah. Plus 6,000 health, etc. Um, so now that I have that upgrade done, I'm, I, I want more, I want more energy, so I'm going to build uh, I'm going to build a quantum gateway, I don't need more energy. Now what a quantum gateway does is it allows me to build um, units to help out. Um, they're kind of like the commander, but they're not as powerful. But they're able to... Um, they're able to... So they can do one of several things, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them to produce resources. Mass, you mean? Mm -hmm. I can actually build support commanders that create mass and create energy. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, now this, okay, thing's so, starting, so this thing's not quite built yet, so I'm going to left click on it. And you can see I can already start queuing up builds. I could, I could just build a command unit right here. But what I want to build is, I want to build this far left one. And what that does is that builds a command unit with a preset to, um, the preset will be to already have the augmentation that allows them to produce resources. So you're building the quantum gateway and the first thing you do when you build that is to uh, build what? I'm doing this horribly because I'm out of energy again. What I should have built is... Uh, I have to just go and start building. Um, I need more energy. I got this out of order. You need to build your mass back up. No, you need to build your energy back up. I need energy. Yeah, I'm just hurting that energy. And I'm like, only eight minutes left before the timer runs out, so... But once this energy is built... See how this like has this cascade effect? Like, if you screw one thing up, it screws up and it's just... It's, it's, a, it's a problem. So that's why I like getting the order right. So you're building another energy plant. This one's a Tech 3 energy. Now, there's this gray line. I can't build outside of it until the timer is up. So that's why I chose to just put this thing way over here. It's out of the way. I have my quantum gateway right here. And I just don't want it to be in the way of the quantum gateway. Because I have a So who, who's working on the new energy plan? Is it just the commander right now? The commander and his little Tech 1 helper that's following him. Yeah. And then once 
once you get the energy, you'll go back to the quantum gateway. Yeah, because this thing produces, gosh, 2,500 energy or something. Do you need to build storage around him first? Nope, I'm not going to bother because I'm running behind. Um, it'd be nice, but I just don't have time right now, so I'll put that on the things to do list. Actually, what I might do is take my group two who have been idle for a long time, have them come over and do it. And build storage, yeah. Yeah. Now. Built for what? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, our strategic commander, or our support commander, with the pre build for resource production. What, what are you calling your support commander? Uh, it's the thing that you build in the quantum gateway. Got it. They look similar to the commander, they're just not as cool. Like, if I zoom in real close, the commander is pretty badass. But um, you'll see when a support commander rolls off the assembly line. You can kind of see him in there. Uh huh. He's not nearly as cool. Not quite as big. Is he intuitive in the same way that the hive is? Will it just go? No. You, you know, actually you have to have, tell him. You have to tell him. He's like your commander. So it looks like your energy's back up. Yeah. Positive territory. And, my, good. and I'm hovering over my Tech 3 power generator, and you'll see that um, it's producing over 27. Just by that one plant by itself. Now, as these guys roll off the assembly line, each one of these guys by themselves, just by virtue of breathing air and being alive, they will produce um, 11 mass, each one of them 11 mass, and I think 1,000 energy. So, they're Which, pretty. What, what's doing that? Well, these support commanders that I'm building. Okay, got the, it. The mass upgrade. Got it. For the mass enhancement. Now, once they come off the assembly line, there's two other upgrades I add to them. Um, and uh, so I go down to enhancements. Just like the commander, the support commanders can actually be upgraded. I like to add anti-air capabilities, which is a back enhancement, and then on the left arm it has a fabricator enhancement, which makes its construction faster. So it just it builds faster. Now when I hover over a commander once he's done being upgraded, um, you'll see that he's plus 11 and plus 1000 in the two different uh, categories. So you're upgrading your support commander right now. Mm -hmm. I added anti-air, and I'm adding uh, rapid fabrication, so he's just a better builder. And then I queued up another for, him to, for another um, support commander to be built. From here on out, I'm, I'm trying to build up some support commanders. Now what I do is I tell this newly built support commander, build some more support commanders. So. I selected, I left clicked on him and then right clicked on the quantum gateway. Now he's helping build the next support commander. So the quantum gateway is the, uh, you gave the order to build another support commander mm -hmm. to the quantum gateway. And then you commanded the, the pre existing support commander to help the quantum gateway. That's right. And I'm also having the commander help. Usually I have the commander stay here in health until I get to um, five support commanders, which usually I get to that point by about now. But I'm running so are you not really working with your smaller engineers right now? Are you just letting the commander, the support commander, and the hive do all your yeah, construction work? I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade this thing, or I'm gonna put mass or energy storage completely around this thing I built. Uh, tech 3 power generator because I have the extra resources and um, I know when I start doing the upgrades to the commander I'm going to need a lot of energy and a lot of mass so 
Alright, so the next support commander just rolled off the assembly line. Again, I'm going to add the anti-air enhancement, rapid fabrication enhancement. I'm going to tell the other, the original support commander I built to help out with those upgrades. Then I'm going to start the next support commander. But I'm going to do it in that order because I want to get this guy upgraded as fast as possible. So I want the hive to keep upgrading this guy. It just does it automatically, and I've just found that if you do it in that order. So what is it? It's you're upgrading a score commander to anti-air and what? Uh, it's called rapid fabrication, and what that is is it basically means he builds faster. Uh huh. He's that's what the construction is called. It's fabrication. It's like think of it as like 3D printing. So what, what if your what does your defense look like right now? In the absence of it. Like none. But that's why, usually by about four minutes, I will take my commander and start building my defenses. But I guess I'm going to have to do that now. So, first thing I'll do is I'll come up here, and I like to put a shield generator, like, up here, up near the front. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll build a second hive. Actually, I'm going to do that first. second hive to help out because I have the resources to do it now. You'll notice the map and the energy storage around that plant is complete. Building my second hive. And who are, who are you going to have build that? I moved my commander over to do that. Oh, can, the, can the first hive help with that? You well, can, yeah, uh, if, it's, if it's not busy doing something else. Um, uh -huh. My support commander that just got built, so I'm going to do upgrades on it. If I double click a unit, it'll select all of that unit that's on the screen. So I'm going to double click the support commander and it'll select all of them. And I'm going to tell them to help upgrade this guy. And now I'm going to start yet another support commander. And you're going to do all the same upgrades to these various support commanders. I, I, I don't building. deviate from that, unless the game dictates that I do. So now I'm going to tell all these support commanders and to then the here and, and help then you're telling the next support commander. Yeah, okay, got it. So you're telling the, all the support commanders to help with the build of the support, uh, support commanders. And you're upgrading them all the same, which is uh, you're giving them any air. Uh, in rapid fabrication. Mm -hmm. Now my commander, with about two minutes left, is up building a shield generator. And then after I build that, I'm going to put some anti-air up. So I'm going to start queuing all this up now. I need a radar system. There's all these things I need suddenly. I need some grounds. Uh, I need, I'm going to put up a rocket system. And are you, are you, are, who's, where are you, uh, like when you build a rocket system, are you doing that through the support commander? So no, you'll the, see, you'll see when it comes up, it's, I'm doing that from my, uh, uh, my regular commanders up at the front line, getting all okay. this stuff built up. Alright, so these upgrades are done, let's see. That's your rocket system you're building up front. Yeah. And then I'm going to take all of these support commanders and use them to build a radar system because I can't be blind. Uh, an omni sensor array. Put it right there. And when the moment this omni sensor array comes online, you'll see. started, but we'll see how many units he has. And that's the radar system you're talking about? Yep. 
And where are you putting that in the middle? I put it, yeah, right next to a power generator, the hydrocarbon. You get a little bit of a bonus on items that suck a lot of energy if they're built right adjacent to some sort of power generation. They, their power usage is, is a little lower, so there's a little bit of a discount there. So we're down to 15 seconds. You see all those airplanes and that army that, that he's built up that he's about to send out. And that's like, um, if I zoom out and come over here, he's got this army. I don't know what they are, but I bet they're ground units that will come rushing at us. So the shield that you built isn't covering all your stuff. No, it's... I don't have time to build more of them right now. Okay, but so we just produced another no support commander. Expired. So I have my anti-air. Well, he hasn't sent planes out yet. I'm building this rocket system. Um, Where's your anti-air? It's this line, right? I'm hovering over it. Um, but it's this line of units. And you can see, when I zoom out far enough, the radius that they cover, you'll see the circle that comes I see. around yeah. it. And that's when they'll start shooting. Now here I have heavy point defense, these are guns that'll shoot. So I can see with my radar, he's exploring. He's starting to send out probably engineers to start building on these other areas. I'm not going to do that because instead I'm going to be building quantum... Um, I'm going to be building support commanders energy instead and mass. I might at some point start doing that, what he's doing. Now, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start harassing the computer. So I'm going to build a Tech 2 gunship. And he won't appreciate this. At any rate, we're basically at the 30 minute point where um, you know where I like to be when the game starts um, but just to show you and have, we'll have a little bit of fun with this so what are you building next to your quantum gateway I'm building a gunship it's a tech 2 gunship and um like I said, you probably appreciate this, but um, it's okay. Is he mobile? Is he going to fly over and... Yeah, he's going to fly. Yeah. And he might send a bunch of airplanes after this thing. I'm not sure. We'll see. Can you give him any additional air support? Or? Uh, I'm not going to waste the resources right now. Yeah. It's like you've got plenty of resources. Yeah, but I don't have a, a an air air plant. I don't have uh, an upgrade going. What, what upgrade are you working on? My um, support commander. I don't have a upgraded. So, uh, what what number... Uh, okay, I'm going to just read that. How many good support commanders are you going to end up with? Um, if things click game goes well, maybe 50, 60. Wow. Yeah, I don't stop building them. Actually, at some point when I get about, oh, maybe a, uh, a dozen, maybe 18 or something, I'll build a second quantum gateway, and then I'll have two assembly lines cranking them out. Wow, okay. So you're lit those little... So here's that gunship I built. Um, yeah. It's racing down, and I'm going to start messing up some of his stuff. Keep him on his heels. So why do you have the shield uh, where it's at? It's only protecting your... Um, uh, your rocket? Is it rocket defense or rocket? Uh, um, yeah, I would like to build more. I'll build more shields. Actually, okay. what I want to do now... Oops. Oh, that was a mess up. You 
you're sending support commanders out to wreak havoc or no, that was a mistake. What I'm oh. actually doing is uh, just tell, telling this uh, gunship to just go around and start messing with it. Okay. Um, I'm screwed that up. Um, actually, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my commander here. I have a basic defense set up. Um, I'm going to start upgrading my commander fully. Okay. So I'm going to fin finish his combat engineering. Get that topped off. Now when you say you're going to upgrade your commander fully, you're going to... So in, you're talking about instead of just the left arm, you're, you're going to do other... You're going to upgrade yeah, other, right. other components of it. Is it still a tech... One commander right now, or is it a Tech Two commander? Or well, now what I did is I just selected the Tech Three engineering. Upgrade. Okay. Um, all the while, I keep my quantum gateway going. And who's going to be working on the upgrade of your commander? Um, so the commander is going to have the two hives helping. Okay. So uh, when they get the opportunity, they'll both work on it. Right now, I have. Sometimes I send my support commanders over if I really, if I, like, if the battle dictates I really need to get that thing online fast. Yes. So the commander is early, early game. He's powerful. Now come over here. Because, and, because and I want so to see your support commanders are idle right now. They're actually now walking over, and they're going to help with the upgrade. Okay. And I'm just going to go through and just get all the upgrades done on the commander. So really, all your support commanders, because they have rapid, uh, fabrication, they're really doing the bulk of your your infrastructure. Is that right? Along with the hive. Say that again. I'm sorry. All your all your support commanders. So you got. They're kind of taking over the role of getting everything built up. Yeah. Because my commander is now going to become my prime unit for killing. Okay. Now um, I can see that some of these upgrades. Uh, I don't have the energy infrastructure to pull them off, so um, I either need to build more mass or just or more energy production to suck it up. Yeah, and how my, is my gunship uh, over looks here? Looks like your energy energy's dropped. Yeah, it's dropped. But that's okay, because I was throwing him away. He was just a System harassing. Energy.
You're not putting up much of a fight. The laser gun's pretty awesome. So it's causing us to run out of energy once again. Now notice, when the energy goes down, my radar goes offline, so I lose my eye, eyes, my sight oh, on the battlefield. Okay. So, I mean, there's a downside to running low on energy and running out of energy. Do you need to build more energy, or...? I really should, but this yeah. computer's not putting up much of a fight, so I'm not worried about it. Okay. If you are going to build more energy, it would just be another energy plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Which we'll do here shortly. System enabled. We have one more upgrade left for the commander. Now, with the... I'm gonna hover over my commander here for a second, but with each of the upgrades... So is your shield down right now? Um, it is, but it'll pop back up once the energy gets restored. Start lobbing bombs. Who do you have? Who are you playing against? Uh, uh, a cheater? Not a cheater. Just your basic, you know. A standard AI, yeah. Not uh -huh. an easy one, but not a cheater either. And so, you're, are you going to fix your gunship there? I Heal will, yeah. I was coming over here to see. I thought someone was coming over. I might need to. Last upgrade is almost done. Defense or attack? Kind of Is both. It? Like at this yeah. stage of the game against some cheating AIs, I, I would use him to kind of keep the gap, like in our possession. Yeah. But 
eventually the computer, a good AI, will get tired of what I'm doing. Really Commander under attack. You want to push them too far behind your um, or through your mid section there? Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't if, if we were going against the cheating. I would not want to because this guy's not a cheater. Now there's a whole mob of guys coming at my commander. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it on. I'm go after. It. Now, the cool thing is this. He's a commander. He can build. So I can like. Have you can build a, I can build a, a missile defense out there. I could build a missile defense. Yeah, or I can. Right. I'm gonna come over here and see if I can put together a gunship real quick. Yeah, those units will be on me too soon, but we'll, we'll try. Commander under attack. Yeah, they're hardly damaging me. You see, like when I hover over my commander. Yeah. sense to make the nuke, make your nukes uh, inside the shield area, or? Yeah, back by our base for sure, and okay. uh, we would definitely want to have it well protected. But and who's going to build your nuke facility? I'm going to go ahead and have these support commanders do it. Yeah. They're already back here in the base, so. Is that a, does that take some time to build? Um, not with this many. 
support commanders, it won't take too long. Right. And are all the support commanders uh, uh, programmed to work on the same thing? Yeah, because I've double clicked them. By uh -huh. double clicking a unit, it selects them all that okay. are on the screen. So, Got it. let me see. Strategic missile launcher. So, we'll put it right. So it's like a two-step two process. First you yeah. build the... Yes. First you build the... And then you build the missiles that go in the launcher. Okay. So... We're throwing this thing together. shows 102 right now. That means that it has 102 kills. To the right of that, there's a section called Veterancy. And right now, for that, it says 13.9k slash 22k. That's how many 
kill, how many experience worth of kills it has, and how many it needs to go to the next level. In the very lower left corner, of, right below the picture, there's like a little flag. Um, it's like a, a badge, like a colonel badge or something. Uh -huh. Any unit can get up to level 5 veterancy, and there's some benefits to getting veterancy and keeping units alive. As their veterancy goes up, their total health goes up. Goes up, I think, 10% in each level. So it's pretty significant. Um, it also regenerates health faster as it gets to be a higher veterancy. So it is worth keeping units alive that have a lot of kills. Like if I hover over my commander, you'll see he has three levels of veterancy. And he has now 69,000 health. He's getting quite the little badass. All right, let's take a look over here. We should have a nuke. Yeah, so let's, let's fire a nuke. So I'm gonna click on the nuke site. And down in the lower left corner, there's this green sort of pulsating launch nuke. Uh, oh, no, wait. Launch, launch strategic missile, it's the red one. And it shows I have one nuke out of the possible five. So I'm going to click that, I'm going to target an area, not me. I'm going to come over here and uh, I think that's his commander, so we're going to we're gonna drop a nuke on his commander. So let's watch our site. Oh, I guess I have to look like to launch the nuke. Choose a site, left click. See the the site opening of the doors. It's gonna Strategic launch detected. There goes the missile, the bird's away. You can see on the map the target. So like if you were fighting up front and you saw that on the screen and Nick said I'm shooting a nuke, you'd want to get your uh -huh. units out of that area. Got it. As you see, the nuke goes pretty fast. And their commander's moving, if you notice. Uh, uh, he knows he's coming. He's hightailing his... This is Sweet. a little burning down Commander there. under attack. Oh. They shot it down. Huh. So they have uh, nuke defenses in here. So let's find their nuke defense and see if we can do a targeted kill of it, and then we'll get a nuke in on them. Commander under attack.
Now, the reason I chose just the standard AI was because it gives us time to do things like this, sort of play around. If yeah. We were, if we were playing a cheating AI, like, you know, it would be sending waves of, like, experimentals at us. And we haven't seen one experimental so far. So, I'm sending this gunship down here to clean up some of the stuff, some of this production. Meanwhile, this new gazelle... Oh. Have you been able to identify his missile defense? No, it must be one of these things back here that I haven't I haven't uncovered yet. And plus, he has uh -huh. a whole bunch of new structures that I haven't seen. Uh -huh. So I would need to send, like, a spy plane. Um, I'd need to send some sort of... And I don't have an airport, or I don't have a, an air factory. I could build one, but what's the point? This game's almost dead. Commander under attack.
ones. It's just the really high end ones. Most of them cannot. So we'll see is what's that, left of this base. Is that your main commander in there? Yep. Okay. Did you get his commander? Yeah, I think the new scout. You have to, you have to get everything, right? Yeah, because this is annihilation mode. There's one called assassination where if you kill the commander on the other side, then the game's yeah. over. I like annihilation because then, like last night, how we kind of like tried to piece it together. 
together, it didn't work out, right. but, you know. Now, why wouldn't you have sort of built in a couple of nukes and lobbed a couple of nukes at the remaining... Oh, I could. Yeah. Um, I have more nukes, built, so I can toss one. I'll toss one right there. Strategic launch detected. Some of my airplanes over there to, to be at ground zero. Yeah, I don't know if he'll get there in time. Maybe. My my fearless uh, gunship pilots are willing to be at ground zero.